Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now if you watched our video about the KB Lake G4560 a few days ago, you'll recall that it did a great job of surpassing the performance of other CPUs that cost under $100 or pounds. We even called it the new budget king. One thing missing from the test though was the G3258, a processor that I and many others once considered the best for the budget. Now at stock, the G4560 will blow the G3258 out of the water, considering it's comparable to the G4400, which the KB Lake chip beat by a fair way in the other video, but one thing the G3258 was known for was its amazing overclocking ability. So can this chip, which costs the same or even a bit more than the new G4560, outperform it when it's overclocked to 4.2 GHz? A sensible overclock that most chips will be able to achieve even on the stock cooler. Now before we begin there are a few things to mention. The G4560 is locked so it can't be overclocked but it also supports DDR4 unlike the older Pentium which is limited to 1333 MHz DDR3. To be honest though, that shouldn't make too much of a difference. So we've got 8GB of 2133 MHz DDR4 in dual channel and 8GB of 1333 MHz DDR3 in dual channel as well for the older chip. We've kept as much as we can the same except the RAM, motherboard and CPU of course, but we'll list any and all differences in the description below. The GPU used was a GTX 1060. So let's get into it and find out whether you should opt for the older 1150 Haswell Pentium or the 1151 KB Lake processor. We'll be displaying the gameplay from the G4560 on screen, but including the results from the G3258 at both stock and overclocked speeds at the side too. So Fallout 4 first at the high preset with 1080p resolution, with nothing else changed to see 77 frames per second on average. There was no lag or slowdowns to speak of and the game ran very well. Our G3258 hit 61 with the overclock and 41 beforehand, both acceptable results, but it's clear that the new KB Lake chip means business. Bioshock Infinite next and we put everything on Ultra to see a very good 110 FPS on average with the G4560, with the older Pentium achieving around 83 at stock and 90 with our overclock. Next up we put GTA through its paces at high settings with 2 times MSAA and saw 70 FPS on the KB Lake Pentium. The hyper threading really helps out here as not only does our G3258 fall behind at 41 frames per second on stock and 55 with an overclock, but the stutter was totally eliminated with the newer chip thanks to those four threads instead of two. The return of hyper threading on Pentiums has been long overdue, but I'm still a massive fan of the older one, as at the time it released, it was what this new Pentium is now, if that makes sense. Finally, we gave the demanding Crisis 3 a go with the medium settings to see around 58 frames per second on the G4560, a smooth and enjoyable experience which was also mostly the case on the overclocked G3258, hitting 41 and high 30s without the overclock. Not much of a difference with the different speeds of the G3258 here, but the KB Lake CPU pulled away yet again. So overall the newer Pentium really does benefit from the hyper threading and is a great choice for any budget PC build. The support for DDR4 may make it more desirable to some as well as the upgrade path to Intel's latest and greatest might seal the deal, especially since the prices of the Haswell G3258 seem to be going up and up. It will always be special to me though and if you can find a used one for little money then it's still worth a purchase. However it's clear that the new G4560 has definitely earned its title and looks set to become the next best bang for your buck choice. So guys thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out and I hope you enjoyed it as well. It was interesting to see what this new chip can do when compared to a sort of legendary older one. If you enjoyed the video leave a like down below, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully as always I'll see all of you in the next video.